Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Fall Nation in the Who's That Indie series. So, Fall Nation is extremely early prototype. This is an itch.io download. You can download it yourself, but it is an extremely early prototype. I think it's like prototype one. But what Fall Nation is, is Mountain Blade combined with Guerrilla Freeman tactics and a zombie outbreak. Yes. So you will be able to recruit troops, move squads, build bases, take over cities, and destroy the zombie apocalypse before it literally wipes out the world. Now, some of that's in. Some of it's janky as all hell. Let's just start off. Oh, it didn't save me. So there's different factions and zombies. You can recruit troops and fight zombies. So we're going to have a look. Obviously I've played a bit. There's different zombie types. Okay, we'll ignore that. Okay, we're going to avoid that army. Okay, just going to escape that army for a minute to grab a soldier. You can only recruit so many troops at the very beginning. But it gives you some men for defeating the first thing. So what I'm going to do is go to the tavern, rather than the tavern. And hire one soldier. There we go. Because I can only have in my squad, if we look at here... Three people. Now it gives me three people for surviving this battle. Now if you actually look at this, this shows you the infested layer. This is where the infestation currently is. As you can see, there's cities which have been lost completely, pumping out zombies. And obviously if you go to the red zones, you're more likely to find zombies. So there's cities of death and devastation around the map. Also different factions, you can see these guys hate me. These guys... Vaguely hate me. Uh, these guys seem to be okay. Who are these? They're the Dominion. Can't quite tell what their logo is. I thought it was a skull for a second. So there's different factions out there. So you can fight human troops. How the battles work, if you all try and tell me, is every time you shoot, it raises the noise level. The more noise, the more zombies. Fill the noise bar, a zombie horde spawns. So the more you shoot, the more enemies there are. Which means even fighting regular humans, you'll be pulling in infantry. And there are different types. Like there are gigantic titans and regular infantry. Uh, your troops don't use ammo. Well, look, there's anarchists. More zombies. You can also do this in a faction layer. This shows you different colour of each group. So you can actually tell who's who and who's where. So as you can see, there's many different factions in this world. So there's a plague. Your overall goal, excuse every fight you lose, the plague goes up. It also goes up slowly over time. So you don't want to lose any fights because the plague will take over. And your goal is to do a great feat of work. Which I don't quite know how to do it. I think it's quest based. But once you do that, you basically form a vaccine so you can stop the zombie outbreak. Now I don't know if that's in or not. I know you can do it, but we'll have to see. Renown, power, level, coins, research. So you can do research. Have a look here. So these are my stats, as you can see. Basic, work in progress, under construction, skills. So everything is under construction. Again, very early. I couldn't quest and none. I have my army is this guy here. You can turn, make them into squads, but I don't know if that exists. Army size one of 11. And some of the battles are hundreds of enemies. Like I know I have it in the uh, thumbnail that you can fight hundreds. There are literally groups of over 100 zombies wandering about. So you can fight a lot. So you haven't got any primary weapons. Uh, diplomacy. Hammer infested. Civilians exist. Who hates me? Hammer hates me. Anarchy hates me. Infested on my nemesis. That's cool. Okay. And we also have research. So research uh, makes your troops better and so on. I'm not sure that's currently in. So let's go and say hello to the zombies. So we can have a conversation. They like brains. You have been defeated by the sword four hours ago. Really? I just ran away. Apparently trying to flee counts as running away. On develop, on develop, on develop. The malign swarm tutorial. So it will follow you no matter what. You have to fight them. But I grabbed a soldier because I wanted that extra troop. Now you can build buildings on the battlefield. But you'll need polymer I think. Oh, there you can see, squad. So, combat quality is pretty basic. 
And so is control. So like I could do all. We see there's different squads you can make, but you know, follow, stand, do other things. You have to shoot or not shoot. If you actually look at the top center, that is the sound bar. Oops. So the case there's a little bit of lag with the shooting. It will steadily go up the more things happen. There are random zombies on the battlefield anyway, but we're looking for a group of four or so. You saw one zombie wander over that way. There's also boxes you can find, as you can see. It's very prototype because boxes spawn and despawn. But yeah, there's resources you can find in the world to take back with you. Not in a tutorial area, of course. As you can see, that bar started to fill. You can blow off their limbs and things. Headshots do more damage. But you can take out their limbs, you can take out arms, legs, stuff like that. Oh, pull back. Okay, my soldier took some damage. So they also have levels. Obviously, they get stronger as time goes by. There we go. And like I said, all different types, like that guy there, that Titan. You don't have to kill them, of course. You get experience for doing it. Your troops will level up, become more powerful as time goes by. And you have to extract to end the mission. He is stuck on a rock. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. So, yeah, you don't really want that thing to hit you. Just anything else. Spawn to extract. We have to get to the extraction point, which is the blue bar at the top of the compass, which is over there somewhere. Oh, level up. Level 7 reached. So yeah, the zombies will keep on spawning continuously. We've killed the amount we need. Every battle requires you to kill so many enemies. So you could literally stay here forever shooting random zombies which spawn in. Come on, soldier. But you don't really want to do that. You will just lose. So yeah, our goal is to get more troops. Our goal is to get better equipment. I'd like a gun. And our goal is to get research. Obviously... Right now, you level up, and I think it gives you more soldiers. I don't quite know how. There's, like, charisma, intelligence. If the um, Mountain Blade has taught me anything, intelligence allows you to have more troops, but I don't know because I didn't actually test it. Yes. So, okay, we're going to take the gear, going to lose it all, and return to the world. Now, it should give me three soldiers. Give me my soldiers. Okay, complete. See, this is a great project dashboard panel at the bottom. As you can see, you need to help the locals with the quarantine and isolation great project. Prototype notes, there will be multiple great projects. You have to level up nine strongholds to safe locations. Ooh. To level stronghold, visit the city hall and donate the requested items in gold. Ooh. That's going to be tough because we're poor. Three men have joined me. So I have four infantry now. Let's see. So those are the strongholds. Oh, there's actually a fair few. Some are enemies. Strongholds with level 4 development, proper security and quality measures, could progress. Mm, okay. But yeah, we can move around, we can see zombies, we obviously have to fight to get more stuff, and obviously the zombies are slowly starting to hate us. So calling it 0%, that won't last long. See that, that was a zombie army of 50, and it's currently dark. No. So yeah, it's a day and night cycle. We don't really... Obviously, we can probably wipe these out if we want to. I've not tried, because I don't want to click on it and die. Okay, let's actually have a look at the zombie infestations. So the best way to get resources, of course, is fight zombies, because you can loot it from their corpses. Um, you can also, of course, fight the human forces, but we I only have a pistol and four soldiers. That's 100... That's classed as a medium army of 100 zombies, you see? That's what I'm talking about. Fierce zombie pack. The plague just leveled up. So you've got pestilence over time. So if you do nothing, you're still going to take a few problems. Okay, let's go round. So we want to fight some smaller groups. And then try and get some more troops. So we can't really recruit anyone, of course, because, you know. Oh, we really did level up. Uh, apply? Didn't seem to do anything. Apply. Ah! Charisma gives me more soldiers. Okay, let's revert. Okay, let's also put my pistol to 20. So, charisma gives me more soldiers. Maybe intelligence makes me 
do other things, who knows. So I will be needing more men, because I really, really, really want to fight the big hordes. Because otherwise, there's no point in saying they exist. Now I need to buy ammo and guns. Oh. Okay, let's have this squad follow me. Hello. Hello. As you can see, they are a bit glitchy and stuff, but yeah, like I say, it's a prototype. This is phase one of the game. And it's ironically about the same level of issues as uh, when Banner Lord 2 came out. Or, I mean, Banner Lord 1, you know, Mountain Blade 2. <laughs> and they had eight years of development and had more than one person working on it. Of course, Bannerlord now actually works vaguely alright, but yeah, they had a lot more time. So if you look around the map, you'll find boxes and stuff. Not always. But yeah, you find boxes, you can loot the equipment. I think you also get random equipment as well anyway. Grab that. What I get? I got some graphene. That's graphene, not polymer. Okay. I'm experience for killing him. More graphene. So yeah, we press. Is it Z? No. X is order C V F G H. H is heal myself. I just use up one of my few med kits. Hmm. But yeah, there's a way to use it. Is it combat? Ah, it's real. It's 3D print. Press the B key. So I press B. I can at any point build equipment, as you can see. Lights, bar barricades, explosive stuff like that. So you can fortify a position and fight to the last man if you're fighting massive hordes and you don't have the equipment. So there will be a lot of tactics involved, you know, which squads to leave behind, which squads to have in defence, which squads to go out. So I'm actually very excited about this one to see where it goes in the future. Although I'd like to be able to run more. I also like my soldiers to run as well. Come on, guys. And again, prototype. First version. It works really well. Now, that Titan gave me a lot of resources. I mean, experience. While you're leaving, you found some graphene. Awesome. So I can sell the graphene if I want to, of course. The Lost City of Sorgut. So yeah, if you're going to do this uh, prototype and play yourself, I recommend getting obviously your charisma up it seems to get more soldiers on the field. Also, I don't know, but I feel like there's only a couple of maps currently in the game as well because it helps you prototype. Soldiers will level up. Oh, I didn't tell them to follow me. Uh oh. Locals. As you can see, they started saying level 2 on the left hand side, so my troops are leveling up. Which means I think they do more damage. Probably even cost money, who knows. But yeah, this this I'm excited for. I played a lot of Guerrilla Freeman Warfighter? No, war, uh, was it Freeman? Guerrilla Warfighter. Freeman Guerrilla Warfighter. And the game, while buggy, had promise. It's just a shame it released out of early access, which means the bugs are probably going to stay there. But I would like to see exciting things. I do do want to see more of this. I love zombie games and survival games. I love squad-based games. Oh, medical gear. So, yeah. Okay, we now can probably grab some soldiers. That's a refinery. The Davis refinery. The zombies are getting steadily hating of us. That's good. Uh, trade local merchant, uh, medical gear, resources, I don't need medical gear just yet, oh grenade, nineteen hundred, I can't, yeah I think it's like um, two and a half thousand for a rifle, 
There's the next layer of infection over there. Okay, let's go and have a look. So you move fast on the roads. The infection just went up. We're at 3% already. People... <sighs> That's an enemy position. So yeah, I might not be able to win this, but I'm very, very, very... Yep, die. Because we may have to drop it down. 4% is insane already. 4% in 15 minutes. I don't see them, right? So obviously, that might change that. Maybe it's not even possible to get to that stage. We'll have to see, because... 3% uh, in 15 minutes means 10% is about an hour, which gives the game at its current rate of speed about 10 hours of gameplay. It's actually quite a fair bit for a prototype. But I don't know if it's enough time to obviously see what the game has to offer. Yeah, definitely feel like there's only a couple of actual maps in existence. Again, that's still more than I was expecting. They shot his leg off. I need ammo, I've only got four rounds left. I can use a knife, you can stab the enemy and you will get a lot of kills with it. You won't against a titan, but you will against the regulars. And I'm super excited to see what other types there are out there. Like, I think there might only be two currently, but I'd love to see more. Need a rifle. Because every six hours it goes up by a bit, which is bad. Paulina Peters, that's a tank. Nothing, uh, okay, let's flee. See, they're just trying to attack me. We don't really want to fight Fury, oh, is it Berry, Berry Camp or Fury, uh, Berry Camp? So we need to start fortifying things. We need to start getting this plague counter down. Okay, you've got a shotgun at 2600 Oof. 2400 for the rifle can't afford one yet oh I still can't afford a good gun I am trapped fighting weaklings we have no ammo oh come here also the night cycle Hunting zombies in the dark does not sound like something I want to do. Oh, there's a box. This map, this map's different. There's a river. This is already past my expectations. Okay, construction resources. They are needed to build up one of the forts. There's a bridge. Basic river. Oh, here comes the enemy. It's like basic. Basic zombies do not last long against assault rifles and SMGs, at least. Yeah, they are using assault rifles. Now, imagine there will be different uh, guns and troops out there. I imagine the enemy factions will be using different troops. I don't know. If there's more than one basic infantryman out there currently. But yes, this is a prototype, and there's already quite a fair bit going on. Although the edge of the world might need a bit of work. Yeah. <laughs> Small things, though. Like I say, for prototype one. For the very first prototype, this is amazing. Like, I was expecting none of this, if I'm honest. A lot of each games I play, I go in uh, jaded, let's say. Let's no, I'm going to have to go back to the other place. I'm not even going to have any ammo for the darn thing, am I? Talk to the bartender. Do you need something? Uh, kill enemy. Yes, yeah, sure. Eh, 
it actually is quests. No recruit. Can only have one more soldier though. Kill this enemy. Big army. Wait, was that the quest? 20 of those? Oh! Four and a half percent. It's getting worse. 2,500. What's the ammo? Old rifle, 1956. It says rifle iron sight. There might even be upgrade for the weapons. Is it this one? Inventory, there we go. Yeah, there's actually is upgrades for your guns. Okay. Snipe that ass. Interesting. So, uh, I think we have four rounds for it. So it's 5.45. We'll find out in a second as we go attack some locals. Come here, locals. No, 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 not these locals. Which is definitely the quest I have to fight. Okay, let's do it. Am I using the same gun as my troops? Got no ammo. Yeah, I am. Looks like there seems to be only like two guns in the game. Like there's a shotgun and then there's this assault rifle. Come on, men. What ammo does this use then? Because the pistol just takes ammo straight from the invent. I'm ammo hunting now. There we go. Yep, out of ammo. And just you look at the bottom right, the yeah, um, sound level also keeps going up and down. Obviously, a lot of assault rifles going off is very loud. Now, maybe that helps me. Maybe we can find some more things to murder. Cartridge is obviously the fully shotgun. What go Surely the five should be taken with this. Or is it like... Okay, nine mil with the pistol. I'm going to have to see what the ammo types are. So zombies aren't too much of a threat. I'm thinking we should probably go after one of the bigger hordes. Because I feel like we need a big battle. Our final battle might be I hire another soldier. And we go say hello to a hundred. As soon as I get some ammo. Obviously, we're not going to get anywhere. But we need ammo. What ammo types are there? He was selling a gun. He must have the ammo for it. Okay, he didn't attack me this time. Oh, it's a sniper rifle. Okay, it does snipe that ass on it, so... <sighs> There's no ammo for my gun here. Twelve cartridge, five point... Mag is 32. Dude, does no one like selling ammo? But yeah, I'd like to obviously get another soldier. Ah, 7.62. There we go. I can only afford 81 rounds. Okay. That's a problem. So obviously ammo and money is going to be an issue. That big army's still there. Zombies! There we go, 11, they're getting bigger. Okay, 7 mil. 7 mil. There we go. I finally have a gun with ammo. I feel useful at last. Vaguely. 5.45, yeah. 
Wasn't that the FN foul? He's 5.45? How powerful is this? And I take a shot. Pretty darn powerful, actually. Just need more ammo to so actually use it more than one mag. You go out into a zombie apocalypse, you buy two mags and go, yeah, I'm fine. And you're full auto, the first zombie you see, yeah. Okay, yeah. So maybe go um, and attack one of the big cities and see what happens. Obviously, I'm not going to survive. Yes. I mean, I am, but. What happens if I go to the city? Siege the city. Yes. Can I wipe out a city? Okay. Hello. Okay, it looks like the city is all the same currently. I've seen most defences built in these places though. Here's what zombies over there on the right. Can I go in the buildings? No. That'd be some titans, won't there? I'm gonna have to let my little assault team wipe out the zombies for now. There's a military base! There's a bomb. Obviously, uh, so. Body shots do about 15 damage with a pistol. Headshots do 60. So you are advised to take the headshots. There's a lot of zombies here. Okay, new horde. New horde. Place explosives to destroy the morgue. Oh, we haven't actually got to kill the zombies. Okay, move. Where's the new horde? That marker in the middle says red one. There's another four black markers underneath it. Is this the morgue? Looks morgue like. I mean, it's uh oh! Okay, I lost a soldier. What is this? Ammo! 12 gauge. I don't have 12 gauge. Pull back slowly. Soldiers, you went into a corner. I have four pistol rounds, that's useful. Where's this morgue we're looking for? It's a morgue? Not quite sure where we're going. And we have lost a man. As in, he didn't die, he just left. He's not dead. No one dies on my team. This has to be the morgue. Damn it! We don't have enough ammo for this! And I don't have enough uh, graphene to build anything. Uh oh! Uh oh! Another one down! Another one got lost in the wilderness! We need a couple more men! Or the ability to make squads! Like us. Maybe two men at the back firing when you were three distract would have been good. Go, go, go! It's got to be where that military base is.
Where we came out with two soldiers, they both survived my death. By the way, I've been in the Fallen Show. This has been a first look at the uh, Fall Nation prototype. I highly recommend giving it a try. Like I say, it's called an itch.io. You can play the exact prototype. A 50 per soldier. I'm actually paying my soldiers money and giving them food. It is bloody Mountain Blade. Either way, I've enjoyed it. I'm excited to see what the future holds with it. I'd like to have a bigger army and not have lost as many. Like, I'm probably going to put it all into charisma next time. Either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This is another Who's That Indy. Bring strategic, tactical, and survival indie game to your face. Holes, channels, and hours, people. Be awesome, be epic, and of course, I will be seeing you in the next one.